hello friends and welcome back to my channel this week's video is going to be my wrap-up for the month of april um i feel like i read a pretty good amount um i was actually kind of surprised when i was taking everything out um at how much i read because i feel like i didn't read a lot like this month has just kind of like zoomed by honestly um and yeah apologies if i seem a bit out of practice it has actually been like a solid couple weeks maybe a little bit less than that um since i have sat in front of the camera and have made a video um a lot of my videos that i've been putting out lately have been like pre-recorded i'm working on having like a backlog like a stash of videos all ready to go so yeah again apologies if i seem a bit out of practice in this video um but i hope i can jump into it pretty quickly here so um yeah i have a lot of um manga and i also do have a trilogy series so this was a great reading month i will say it was a great great month for reading uh, so before we get into it this is a drink i have today which all the ice is gone so i should probably go get more but we shall see <laughs> um this is a blueberry and acai tea um yeah i'm just trying to work on drinking more tea and not just coffee all the time so it, it's decent i i i definitely wanted a coffee today but this is a lower calorie um option so this is what we have today so now let's get into all of the manga so these first few volumes, I'm just going to go over them really quickly because I did a volume one binge. So if you haven't watched that already, go ahead and give that video um, a watch because I talk about all of these more in depth. So I'm just pretty much just going to show you them. Um, this first one is Snowdrop. This is a um, manhwa series from the early 2000s, like late 1990s and then early 2000s. So um yeah the my volumes are kind of um a little bit more beat up but i don't mind that one let me see if i can remember this one i enjoyed this next one is also another manhwa this is villains are destined to die this one was great awesome art um next one marmalade boy volume one can't wait to read more of this and then we have Snow White with the red hair, um, Nana, and Blue Box Volume 1. So again, if you want to hear more of my like in-depth thoughts on all of those, um, I will link my Volume 1 binge video so you can watch that. Um, but kind of leaving off on Blue Box, I did also go ahead and read Volume 2 um just because i had it on hand this is a really cute series i really like the characters and the art as you can see i love the art in this series um if you're not familiar with it it's a like a sports shoujo so i really 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 enjoy this so i can't wait to pick up more of that in may this next one i is another new volume one but I didn't, I picked it up after I filmed the volume one binge video, so I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get to include this one, but anyhow, I'm talking about it now, and it is a Kaiju number no. eight volume one. This is a really fun one. I picked this up at Target. Um, yeah, I was like, you know what? It's, I can get it for like $7 as opposed to 10 so let's just go ahead and add to my pile of series to complete. Anyhow. No regrets here. This one is so good. Um, yeah, and they didn't have volume two. Like, I totally would have picked it up if... Because I like to buy the first two volumes when I'm picking up a new series. Because I feel like that really gives me a sense for what the story is going to be like moving forward. But they only had volume one. Anyhow, my thoughts on this. So fun. I really like the um, mix of action and comedy I feel like the main character is very real, um, even though there is like a fantastical element where he can turn into a kaiju himself. Um, 
so yeah he is a little bit older so i think that's interesting we never we don't often get to see an older protagonist so i think that's what makes his character so real and relatable um but yeah you kind of see he is on the kaiju like cleanup team um so basically him and his other like teammates go in after the kaiju defense force um you know takes care and neutralizes a kaiju so they're like the cleanup crew but he always dreamed of being on the defense force so you kind of see him um feel called back to try again to get into the defense force so yeah with with a bit of a twist so it's really interesting let me see if i can show you the main character here i really like the art in this also i feel like it's a pretty unique style this is the main character here he's really funny i like the characters in this a lot so far all the ones that have been introduced so i'm very excited to see what direction that goes in this next one is actually a reread for me um and i really i i love this series i talk about it so much so if i haven't talked your ear off about it enough on my instagram or on my shorts um i will do it again now no no i'm gonna try and keep this short um but this is what love is hard for otaku i started a reread of this so i probably will finish it um you'll be hearing about the last um three volumes in next week's not next week's next month's wrap up um but yeah this is such a cute series it's a uh, office romance story between like this group of otakus so it's really funny i feel like the comedy on this is just like top tier it's absolutely hilarious it just it makes me like laugh every single time like i will go back and like just flip through volume one and i will just crack up and it has me like squealing like a little girl i just love like the comedy and romance in this is so so good so um yeah really cute if you haven't read that already i really recommend you do i think you'll like it anyhow moving on before i i go on about that one um the last manga volume that i have here is the breaker volume two i am a little bit conflicted with this one because um I didn't love this volume the first one was pretty good so i was a bit disappointed after reading this one so i'm not sure if i'm going to continue with it or not i mean it's only a five volume series they are omnibus editions um i don't know this just has very low priority for me to pick up it's it's a bit provocative for me i think is the best way to, to describe it and I guess it's understandable because this is rated mature and it is like a very grungy series. Like it's very action packed. You're dealing with like gangs and like mafia and all that. So it's kind of expected, but it was just a little bit too much for me in this one. So I don't know. I, like I said, I'm conflicted because I really like a couple of the characters in here and the humor is actually really good in this one. Um, but yeah, it, it was just a little bit eh for me. Um, but that is all of the manga that I read. So now I will go ahead and talk about the novels that I read. Okay, I took a quick break from filming and I swapped the tea out for coffee because I just could not do it. I am not the biggest fan of tea. I keep trying and trying, but I just, I'm a coffee gal through and through. Anyways, um, the last thing I have to talk about is this trilogy series, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This, I did a whole separate video on, so if you want like, more of my in-depth thoughts, um, but still spoiler free, um, then go ahead and check out that video. But in short, this was so good. I want to reread this so bad. Just I kind of flipped through the 
um, moments that I tabbed um, a bit earlier and I was just kind of emerged into this whole series again like as soon as I finished this last book I just like I teared up because it's just it's such a overwhelming story it's a very heavy read it's dealing with like it's a crime like a murder mystery trilogy so it's very heavy very dark so it feels when it's over and everything after everything that happens you just feel so attached to the characters and I don't know it was just a very overwhelming feeling after I filmed or finished reading this so um, yeah like I said there's a whole review on this so go ahead and check that out um, but with that that is everything that I read this month so here is the overview of everything that I read this month um, I feel like I had a pretty good reading month. I feel like I got through quite- I feel like this trilogy here took up quite a bit of my, like, um, reading space this month in my brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope to read about this much next month, but we shall see. May is a little bit busier for me, so I might combine my haul and wrap up next month depending on how things go. But anyhow, that is the end of this week's video and that is the wrap up for the month of April. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what your favorite read from this month was and I will get back to you in the comment section. Um, but yeah, as, as always, thank you guys so much for spending some of your time with me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is, like, going out. Like I said, it's been a little bit since I filmed, so I feel like my voice is kind of going. Um, but yeah, thank you for spending some of your time with me, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye, guys.